Drake is now joining us here on Trends and Friends to talk about Moonlight Musical. Super exciting. Y'all have already had a couple shows coming back from a long break, but yes. now it's really exciting. Y'all are still going strong. Tell us about your new one about to come. Absolutely. So uh, we started the summer with The Sound of Music. Then we had our children's production of Honk Jr. And now we're gearing up for Lin-Manuel Miranda's In the Heights, which is, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, in the Heights, you might know Lin-Manuel Miranda as the composer for the hit musical Hamilton. Uh, so uh, we're, we're kind of using that a little bit. Uh, but, but In the Heights uh, was the first musical that Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote before Hamilton. Okay. He actually wrote it as a sophomore in college. Wow. And then many years later, as, as he graduated, he became an educator. He was a teacher. He was substitute teaching and kind of got a call out of the blue, basically saying, hey, <laughs> How would you like to put In the Heights on Broadway? That's cool. Yeah, insane, right? Just this kind of leap out of nowhere. Uh, so it's, it's a really cool story. So for people that don't know the story, yeah. tell us a little bit about it. What can they expect? Sure. So, so the story of In the Heights, uh, there, there, is, there is a narrative, uh, absolutely. But really, what I like to tell people is that it's, it's really about the human experience. It's about the lives of people in uh, a borough in Manhattan, Washington Heights, in New York, uh, and basically the pursuit of their dreams. Uh, so it's a small community of, of, of a very kind of Latin-based community. You have you know, people from the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Mexico, uh, all kind of living together in this beautiful community. And well, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a community that's, that's starting to get bought up uh, by you know, bigger businesses and corporations and things like that. Uh, and it's kind of pushing these smaller businesses aside and um, it's, it's kind, of, kind of tearing apart the neighborhood. And it, it kind of centralizes around uh, a business owner named Usnavi de la Vega who owns like a corner store. And uh, he's, he's kind of the staple of the community because he's kind of the cornerstone of it. <laughs> Everyone goes to his place for their morning coffee, for their breaks, for whatever, and they talk with him. And, uh, he's the kind of guy who is who's so genuine and knows everyone and cares for everyone um, and um, it's a beautiful community in that sense but like I said it's it's about the pursuing of dreams and you're gonna meet a lot of characters in this story uh, that that deal with certain things that that we deal with mm -hmm. as as a human race as as a community as as a group of people um, you know you have you have a, a girl who is uh, you know, first time, first generation going to college and discovers that, you know, the money's kind of running dry and doesn't want to reach out to mom and dad because they've sacrificed so much. And all of a sudden she has to come back after her first semester and basically say, look, I dropped out. And she has to deal with the weight of that. And then with how that affects the family, mm -hmm. um, there is this, um, you know, beautiful figure of, of abuela, grandma, who is not necessarily anyone's blood grandmother, but she takes care of everyone as if they're her own and there's a beautiful story of of you know they talk about the pursuing of dreams and all of a sudden someone in the neighborhood it's it's made known wins the local lottery of ninety six thousand wow. dollars and they're trying to figure out who it is <laughs> and we come to find out that abuela was the one who actually uh won it and with that of course she wants everything in the world for her kind of pseudo grandson Usnavi and his dream one of his dreams is to go back to the Dominican Republic where his parents were from and kind of set up shop there but he has this kind of weight on his shoulders of being this kind of figurehead in the community mm -hmm. and he has these thoughts of well if he goes this whole community is kind of gonna yeah. go under and so he has that weighty decision of does he stay or does he go Sounds like it's going to be a beautiful story. Lots going on. Yes. Everybody's going to enjoy it. Tell where they get the tickets. And I know it's only three days, so they need to get them now. Absolutely. So you can get tickets, $15 a piece, uh, at our website, www.moonlightmusicals.com. Um, and we will be running three weekends. So this is, we open August 5th, and we run through the 21st, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for three weeks in a row. Sounds like it's going to be a good time for sure. Thank you so much for being here. And everybody can find more information. I know you'll have lots more awesome yes. shows coming up soon. Absolutely. Thank well, you so much for having me. Exactly. No problem at all. Remember, everybody, go check Moonlight Musicals out, and we'll be right back after the break. <laughs>